I want to do an example of testing a mean about a hypothesis using the TI-84 calculator. This is an example from the homework. They say a number one song should be longer than 210 seconds. They have a sample of 40 songs, so 40N is the sample size. The mean length of them is 234.7, that's the X bar. These are the numbers you have to enter into the calculator eventually. The sample standard deviation is 57.48. Use a significance of 0.05 to test the claim that this sample is from a population of songs with a mean greater than or more than 210. Uh, we're not going to use the mini tab display. We'll let the calculator calculate everything for us. So the first thing we want to do is get this thing set up. I'm going to look at the setup chart. Now remember the words was greater than or more than, so I'm going to go look at the first row. Now the setup chart is written in terms of P for proportion, but when we're talking about a mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just looking at the first row, just think of these P's as mu's. So the claim is that mu is greater than 210. The opposite is that it's less than or equal to 210. And here's the part that the homework wants. The null hypothesis is that mu is equal to 210, which is not from the original claim. That's going to be an issue when we draw our conclusion. And the alternate hypothesis is mu is greater than 210. And it's a right tail test. That's going to be an issue for how to enter in the calculator again. So when I go to the homework and I wrote down the setup, and the setup was this one B that mu is equal to 210. The alternate hypothesis was mu is greater than 210. Now to start answering these other questions, I'm going to go to the calculator. I'm going to go to stat tests. This is a t test because they gave us the sample standard deviation. If they gave us the population standard deviation, it would be a z test. But I think in this homework, they're all sample standard deviations. They're all t-tests. We're going to do t-tests with the statistics. The mu null value, which is the mu value from the null hypothesis, is 210. And I think I have the right values in these other numbers because I tried this before. So the mean, the sample mean is 234.7. The sample standard deviation is 57.48. N is the sample size. In this one, you want to match the form of the alternate hypothesis, which is greater than, or a right tail test. So just to make sure, you might want to arrow over to that one and hit Enter. Uh, the color only matters if we're drawing a graph, but we're not drawing any graphs. We're just calculating. So if I go to Calculate, and hit enter. These are the numbers that we have to get for the answers. So this t value is the test statistic. It's 2.1, 2.7177, And this next number here, the p value, is 0 0.00487, 0 0.00487. Seven. Okay, so those are the numbers that the homework is going to want you to say. So back to the homework. The test statistic rounded off to two decimal places is 2.72. 2.72. Uh, the p-value. Okay, the p-value. Let's see. The p-value was rounded to three decimal places, was 0 0.005, which I entered in there. Now, because the p-value 0 0.005 is less than 0 0.05, we reject H null. And now when I look at the conclusion chart, we are rejecting H null. And remember, H null was not from the original claim. Reject H null, not from the original claim. So the conclusion is the sample data support the claim. Let's see which answer in the homework sort of says that the sample data support the claim. We rejected H null. There's sufficient evidence to support the claim. That's D. And let's see this last part. 
So uh, does it make sense that a hit song has to be great, has to, should be no longer than 210? Uh, the results suggest the advice that a song must be no longer than 210 seconds is not sound because all of these hit songs had a mean length of 234.7. So I'm gonna go with A here. And now let's check this whole thing. Well done.